I'm going to show you how to log on to your Moodle app because a number of you have been having trouble on logging on to your Moodle app. Step number one is enter in the URL for your website. And for this is HTTP full colon forward slash e dash learning dot mu dot ac dot ke. Remember, it is e dash learning dot mu dot ac dot ke. Press enter. Uh, the system is going to load of finding the URL site. It is actually now connecting to your Moodle site. Then here is where you will be able to to log in using a uh, using your registration number and also using your registration number and also uh, the password that you're using on your student portal. So your username is going to be your registration number. An example, TLE. Okay, then let's put our password. And click on login. There you go. You're actually in your Moodle app. Moodle app, okay, and this is how you'll be able to view the courses that you have enrolled in. Uh, you can click on site home, just view my courses again. These are the courses that you're enrolled in. Click on your dashboard, you can be able to get into any of these courses click on any of them and you are able to go through the content so you can be able to view the participants within the course who, who is enrolled for this course you can be able to see your classmates go back you can be able to participate in uh, and see messages you can be able to send messages to your colleagues to your friends any notifications are going to be appearing on that notification section. Yep. So that is just basically how you can be able to view and access your Moodle app. Ensure that you're using the student registration, your student's registration number, what you have just been using for the for the e-learning and also for your student portal should remain to be the same as what you use here. Just in case you change any of them, if you forget any of them, you'll need to change everything. If you forget your password and you change it, it means you'll need to change your password in the student portal. Uh, if you change your password in the student portal, then it is going to affect the e-learning platform as well. It is going to accept, uh, uh, affect the your, your Moodle app, okay? So that is how you can be able to access your Moodle app. Thank you very much.